What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I seriously appreciate you being here. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the latest Curse of All Souls DLC reveal trailer and to be honest there's some seriously interesting things to talk about and point out including the possibility of new and even old exotics returning. But before we go any further guys, do you want to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much much more? If so, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within the video description. Okay, so we get the message behind the actual trailer itself. While we've been busy fighting Gary, a Vex door has opened up on Mercury and an army of past and future Vex plan to destroy and reshape the entire universe in their image. With that also those returns but as an ally or a foe we find out on release which is December 5th 2017 so what else hides within this trailer and I think I found some pretty epic things first up let's check out Osiris himself he looks amazing and his ghost shout is like nothing we have ever seen I am down to create a warlock if we can obtain the armor he's wearing because it looks incredible Okay, so the question put forth to us by Ikora within the trailer is whether Osiris returns as an ally or a foe, but within this scene we see for a split second it looks to be two guardians alongside him, but there is a massive bot here which we will come to in a second. Also check out the weapon Osiris holds here, it kind of reminds me of the Vex Missile class, looking great whatever it is. I think it's a scout though as we see him shoot it and it fires like a scout or a sniper, one or the other. Okay, so onto those guardians we just saw. Here we see them again, but here it looks as though they are frozen in time. What is this? We know the Vex are capable of some remarkable things and I guess this is their doing for sure. Now we know Osiris is a warlock and it's great seeing him use the Dawn Blade for sure. Okay, so moving on and this is big people, it seriously is. Some of you will love this idea while some will despise it. Here we see a pair of guardians obviously on Mercury. What is seriously interesting here though people is the hunter. Look what he is holding. Is that the fawn? Seriously, is it? It has the exact same shape. Could it be a new and improved version? Hopefully so, because the original was so broke. We then see this, which looks to be an ultra rifle. This is surely a new exotic. The design in it kind of gives it away for sure. What would be even better than it being an exotic was if it's a legendary. A new variety of new legendary weapon designs in the game. That would be great. Looks epic either way. Okay, so next up we get to see another two weapons from the past, the Jade Rabbit and the Telesto. More old exotics returning. Thing is, I am an Xbox player and most probably won't get to use this Jade Rabbit until 2020, if we're going by the past. To be honest, I don't know what I think here. The Telesto was a great and fun weapon to use. That's if this even is that, these could just look alike, who knows. But even so, I do welcome old exotics, but as long as they ain't taking the place of new exotics, I'm fine with it. Moving on and we see a new Trace Rifle. This one looks to be a Solar type, the Warm Heart maybe. I mean we've got the Cold Heart, it's the only one in the game at the moment. It was obvious it was going to get a new one sooner or later. And this is that new one. We then see this Titan in this great looking chrome and black gear. Wherever this set is from, I like it. Now for sure we do like them fancy crazy designs and they're normally what we go for. But sometimes the simple designs look epic too. Okay, so to finish off the video guys, we get a little image of the second DLC, DLC 2, which seems to be about Rasputin for sure. Now all what I could tell you about this at the moment would be guessing and speculation on my behalf, but who is the person in this image? We do get a slight clue. If we zoom into the shoulder pad, we can see what looks to be the Iron Banner Wolf logo. So is this Ephrodite? For sure it looks like a woman if we take a look at the shape of the jaw, and it looks as though we got long hair here too. So could it be Ephrodite? Whatever it is, it's seriously interesting and a great talking point. But like I said guys, I am guessing here and we will find out who this is for sure sooner or later. And on that note guys, I am out. If I missed anything worth mentioning, please let me know down below within that comment section. If you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
never get it right.